are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Friday the 6th of November. I'm James Spann. The weekend stays nice and quiet. What happens with Ada when it gets in the Gulf of Mexico? Will that thing affect Alabama at all? We have better clarity today, so let's talk about it. Here's the upper air look. Got a big trough coming into the west coast, a broad upper low west of the state. And again, things are nice and quiet here. That's the visible satellite view. Got a few scattered high clouds, otherwise the sky mostly sunny. Pretty mild today, readings mostly in the 70s, although Tuscaloosa managing 80 this afternoon. Birmingham at 77. Aniston 76 will be in the mid to upper 70s again for most spots tomorrow and Sunday. Winter storm watches in effect for parts of Idaho, Montana, Colorado, and Utah. As the big trough comes in, winter storm warnings for the Sierra Nevada mountains of California. The east is quiet. There's the severe weather outlook through tonight. No problems. This is tomorrow. There could be a clap of thunder near the Gulf Coast, but again, most of Alabama dry. And this is day three on Sunday. No severe weather expected. Rain for the next seven days. In Alabama, the amounts are conditional. Uh, this is suggesting rain amounts between a quarter inch and one inch, heavier totals for the Tennessee Valley. But this might change as we get better clarity on Ada. It's looking more and more like the main rain shield with that system will stay south and east of our state. Ada now a tropical depression. Should be a tropical storm by the time you see this. It's a bit disorganized right now, but we're expecting this to be a tropical storm by tonight. The track takes it over Cuba Saturday night and Sunday. Then it hooks up into the Gulf of Mexico early next week, moving slowly. Should be pretty close to Key West Monday morning and then to a point in the Gulf southwest of Tampa Wednesday morning. Uh, it's a tropical storm. Again, the model's finally getting a little better consensus here. This is the tropical set, and you can see that uh, almost all of them, except for a couple of outliers, take it into the Gulf and then bend it back toward Tampa Bay, well south and east of Alabama. This is the European Ensemble. It's a little farther to the west, but most of the members, again, keep the track south and east of our state. So it's beginning to look more and more like Alabama's going to be on the dry side of this one. And the intensity guidance, most models keep it a tropical storm over the next five days. Let's go to the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 4. Big cold trough in the west, ridge, a big upper high in the east. And for us, today will be partly sunny, highs in the mid-70s. And isolated showers, maybe especially for the southern half of the state, but most everybody dry. Sunday, once again, mid to upper 70s, partly sunny. This is Monday, the GFS depicting Ada near the southern tip of Florida. We're dry and mild. We might be flirting with 80 on Monday. This is Tuesday, and again, this is deterministic output. Understand it won't look exactly like this, but uh, this run shows the position of Ada just south of Tampa Bay. Any showers here isolated, highs well up in the 70s. Wednesday, Ada just west of Tampa. Maybe some rain for the southeastern part of the state. We'll check the European same time. It's got uh, moisture a little uh, deeper across our state, and it's got the position of Ada a little more to the west. Thursday, back to the GFS, Ada, a broad low that's uh, around Tampa Bay and Fort Myers. And this is not showing much rain here. And this is a week from today, Friday the 13th. Zonal flow. And again, no rain depicted here. However, the European looks different. It's got a broad low that's near Pensacola that would be Ada. And it's coming in here with a pretty good chance of rain. So uh, the, the European's a little bit of an outlier to the west. I think with a tropical model set and the GFS, we're going to lean toward a drier forecast next week. But again, we'll see how it plays out. There's plenty of time to get more focused on this. We'll go out 10 days, Monday the 16th, troughing to the north, the cold front approaching, and a really cold air mass up north. If this verifies, we'll see if any of that can creep down in here later in the month. Rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble, the mean between one and one and a half inches, but the members are all over the board. As you can see, some of the members with basically nothing some with two and a half inches. High stay in the 70s for a while. Lows in the 60s for the first half of next week and falling back in the 50s. And hot off the presses, the new CPC outlook. This is for November 14th through the 20th. Same pattern, cold in the west. 
mild in the east. And if this verifies, temperatures here would be above average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. Well, I've notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock Monday morning. That's my next video. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no-interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.